If you've never watched one of my videos, this is my 1996 custom built Mazda Miata drift car. This is Ruby. On my phone, I have jotted down kind of everything that you need to drift an event here in Australia. And obviously this, this is worldwide applied, but let's get into exactly how much my last event cost me. Now, keep in mind, three day event, 20 hours of live track time. I definitely wasn't on the track for 20 hours, but that's how much track time we had available to us. Now I've got a few sponsors that do help me out with events like these, but this is going to be purely no sponsors if I paid for absolutely everything. And we're gonna total up how how much this all costs. No sponsors, just if you were gonna go drive and do it and have a good time, pretty much. Okay, so we'll start with item number one, tires. Okay, so for this event, Ruby, Ruby doesn't normally chew many tires, but this track we were driving for up is a tire destroyer, okay? So I took, I think, I think I took 16 tires so those 16 tires ended up costing me $1,291. Before I start, all of these prices are in Australian dollars, AUD. So just bear in mind, that is for a 1955-15. So that is for a small, very thin tire. It's not for a big boy 17, 18 inch. So yeah, about $1,300 on tires. Also, while we're at the event, we had to get the tires on and off because I only have four rims. Okay, we go. So it's $25 per tire to get taken off and then put back on. So 25 times 16. So $400 in just tire fitting. I need to get some more rims for Ruby, but with how aggressive of a spec Ruby is, it's very hard to find wheels that fit and, ha and that work. So I spent $400 on tire fitting. Next thing, fuel. Okay, so because I had quite a few uh, things break over the weekend, I didn't use as much fuel as I thought I would, but I ended up spending $256 on fuel. And that was 98 middle of nowhere. So a little bit more expensive than normal. Then we get into food and drinks for the weekend. Okay, so I spent about, I don't know, I spent like 70 bucks and I spent about 110 on drinks. This is uh, coffee, a few bevs, um, like some burgers, some wraps, just, just stuff to get me through. But I did not eat excessively. Um, I ate and drank on a pretty big budget, so take that as you will. 65 on food and 110 on drinks. Now. This is where it's gonna get different for everybody and at every event. But most of the time, probably gonna break something on a three day event. There's so much load on the engine, there's so much stress on the car that you're most probably gonna break something. So I broke quite a few things <laughs> over the weekend and that resulted in a few costly repairs. Look, it's a part of drifting and I'm going to be totally transparent about what this weekend costed me not what it costed you. So in repairs over the weekend, over the three days, it cost me $880 in parts. So we had like a radiator fan let go. We had two brake lines let go that I forgot, like that I just didn't tie up properly. We had a custom front lip explode and go kwabami. Um, we had a bunch of stuff just leave the chat essentially. And yeah, that cost me $880. Entry. Entry for the event. So to drive for the three, to be a driver and drive for the three days cost $440. They didn't really talk about whether or not you could camp for free. So I just opted to buy a campsite. I didn't even know what I was buying, but I just, I bought a campsite and that also cost me 50 bucks. So it, it cost me 500 bucks to enter the event essentially. So let me run quickly back through that list. We had tires for 1291 tire fitting for 400, fuel for 256, food for 65, drinks for 110, repairs for 880, entry for 440, and a campsite for 50. Now, there's probably stuff I'm leaving out that I haven't thought of right here, right now, but they are the main things um, for the event. So with that in mind, the grand total is, and that is how much I spent on Two and a half days of drifting, really. So yes, uh, I'm. I think just if I quick maths that, that's around three and a half grand thereabout. So hopefully it is. Um, so yeah, it cost me three and a half thousand Australian dollars to go drifting 
um, at a normal event here in Australia. Yeah, that's absolutely depressing and crazy to think about. Three and a half grand to go drifting for a weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys drift and you're from a different country, please chime in. Leave me a comment, break down your weekend, tell me how much it costs you for two days in America or, or Japan or wherever you are because that'd be super interesting information to get from you guys um, about drifting. So yeah, literally wouldn't have it any other way. Well, actually no, I would have it cheaper, but I can't have it cheaper, so it's all good. I love drifting and you know, that's just the price we've got to pay if we want to burn rubber for fun and abuse these big metal machines. But uh, hopefully that gave you some insight onto how much drifting costs in Australia. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. So peace out. Oh my goodness.